Hi, my love. So this is going to be part one of your energy reading. Um, and for this reading, I basically sit, I look at your photo. Um, I say meditate because it's like visualizing. Um, but I basically write down everything that I see, hear, feel, experience while focusing on your energy by looking at your photo. <laughs> so, um, let's just get started. So the first thing that I have to say when I was looking at your photo, um, I just had this wave of emotion come over me. Okay. Um, and so that was like one of the first things that I started to tap into when I say wave of emotion, like I just feel, I felt very emotional. I felt very like, um, like I was like, I wanted to cry, but then I wanted to laugh at the same time, like just different emotions. Okay. And so what I wrote down is um, a sea of flowers. So I was seeing a lot of floral around you, okay? A lot of flowers. And it wasn't just like one or two flowers, it was like a wave of flower surrounding you. Um, and to me, flowers symbolize life. There's a plant. Um, flowers symbolize love. They, fla they, they symbolize, you know, um, different emotions because as you know when you give flowers or when you were gifted flowers it's usually in a sentiment of love affection um, sorrow or um, thank you something like that in a form of a gift I go um, and sorrow in her veins so what I wrote was a sea of flowers and sorrow in her veins I feel like there's so much emotion through you I feel like there's so much past to you and this could be past in this present life but it could also be past in a past life but there's a lot of sorrow in your veins I put poetic so I don't know if you are into poetry or you write poetry or you um, <clears throat> poetry is a form of expression for you but um, if you are a writer or you do like to write poetry I highly um, I highly recommend writing poetry in order for you to just express yourself in that way especially if there's a lot of emotion running through you um, I put blue vibration and then I put water energy so blue vibration is water energy to me and water energy is emotions your feelings love it is the way that you connect to other people <coughs> water vibe is intuition um, I am a water sign, I'm a Pisces, so I don't know what sign you are in the zodiac, but if you are a water sign, then this would make more sense. Um, but maybe you resonate with water, maybe you have like this affinity with ocean energy or the lakes or ponds. Um, but I put you have a blue vibration to you, so you're very intuitive. Um, I put there's a lot of emotions and a need to release what is inside but really deep so not just like surface layer which is like our skin our face our superficiality who how we look but there's a deep 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 level to you and there's a need to release some emotions that are deep inside of you um, I feel like this is stuff from the childhood this is stuff from your past but I also feel like this can go into deeper layers as in your previous lives, lives that your soul lived in before this one. Um, <clears throat> I put florals are a current obsession with you. So again, I was seeing flowers. And so I feel like florals, maybe you wear a lot of florals. Um, maybe you're presently into it. Um, flowers, maybe you have flowers a lot in your house or your room. Um, flowers have some significance to you. Um, I put your aura is deep. Um, <clears throat> is deep jewel tones. So jewel tones are like deep purples, blues, pinks, um, fuchsias, reds. But I was seeing your aura in a lot of blue and purple. Um, I put blue swirls that swirl into purple. So your aura was like, sometimes people's auras are just like one solid color. Sometimes they are layers of color. But for you, I was seeing yours in like a swirl. It almost was like, um, how do I explain it? Like galaxy? <laughs> um, but like swirls of purples and blues mixed into each other. Um, and then I wrote meditate more. So um, I feel like for you, 
I really feel like you're very intuitive for one. I feel like you feel emotion. I feel like you are a um, like kind of like a mediator of spirit in a way. Um, so you could think of that as like mediumship, but I feel like you have the ability to, you can sense and feel other people's emotions and then you can relay that to them. So um, basically it's kind of like when you are like sitting with friends, um, you can connect with your friends in a way where um, they'll tell you about their problems or things that's going on in their life and then you have the words like you have the right way to give them advice and to relay to them um, advice concerning their issues um, and I feel like you have you tend to have a lot of strangers come to you and talk to you about stuff tell you about their life story they just feel really comfortable with you because you give them that space um, so the word I want you to look up is empath e-m-p-a-t-h empath um, if you just simply Google it, you will find so much information about it. And I feel like the more that you dive into that, and I really want that to be like your homework. I really want you to dive into that word um, <clears throat> to see how it pertains to you and how it feels for you because I do feel like that is significant. And I feel like the more that you look into it and you actually read about it and learn about it, it's going to be a good moment for you to um, learn about yourself and how you are and the way that you are. Um, so I put meditate more. So I don't know if you are a meditator or you do meditate, but I felt like you need to meditate more. Um, this is a way to decompress. It is a way to relax. It's a way to let go. Um, it's a way for you to um, disassociate yourself from the day. And so let's say you had a really bad day um, and you just need time to relax. Meditation is going to help you. I put yoga in question mark so I don't know if you are doing yoga or you are into yoga or you are interested in yoga but somehow yoga came up <laughs> so I thought I would write that down I like I said I write down anything um, but the word yoga came up so maybe it has a significance for you um, a significant piece of jewelry so then I saw like <clears throat> well I didn't see the jewelry but I like I saw jewelry like the word or the feeling of it um, and I put set it out for a recharge. So there's some sort of significant piece of jewelry in your life. It could be a piece that, that belongs to a, a past loved one, or it could be a piece that was gifted to you that has a major significance to you. Um, but whatever it is, that piece of jewelry needs to be recharged. So I was seeing the sun when I was getting that vision. Um, so you can totally set it out under the sun, like on the windowsill or something for just a couple minutes don't let it sit too long but it needs to be recharged and I feel like it's because you are a you you receive energies by feeling emotion and I feel like that piece of jewelry is like in over its head like it has too much emotion too much energy infused into it and it needs a cleanse so recharging it it's almost like you're cleansing that piece it's a piece of jewelry that you either wear all the time or it is a piece of jewelry that is just so significant to you maybe you should be wearing it more okay um i put winter so winter um there's going to be an upcoming vacation or a switch of plans so i'm feeling like um sometime this coming winter which is december through february or something like that or i don't know december through february or march um some sort of a vacation or a switch up of plans so you might be having some stuff coming up you might be making some plans last minute um, or if you are looking to do some sort of a vacation or take some time off of work I would feel I feel the winter time is a good time for you to do that I put the throat chakra so next I saw throat chakra and I put needs balance you need your throat chakra is here in your throat area it is the way you communicate it is the way that you express yourself the way you talk to other people um, you utilize your throat chakra a lot with work, but I also feel like it's in the form of when you connect with your friends. Um, they are always sharing you pieces of their lives and their stories, but you also need to make sure you are taking care of your own throat chakra. Um, I put, um, there is a lover in the background. So, um, I put lover in the background. I don't know if this is like a past friend 
or someone who recently passed or passed in your life that is in your background or <laughs> the lover in the background because I just wrote what was coming to me maybe that means there is someone in your past there is a past lover um, that is constantly on the back of your mind so maybe that's why I felt like it was in your background like they're always on your mind um, then I put piles of suitcases question mark um, travel baggage so is this person this lover in the background is this somebody that you have not seeked closure from is this um, somebody that you are carrying a lot of um, emotions from is this like the suitcases that I was seeing does that symbolize baggage that you were bringing into a present relationship or your present life um, is this somebody that you have not gotten over and then I put small animal, a puppy, or the energy of a small dog. So there is an animal on the past in the spirit realm <laughs> that is constantly around you in the form of a small dog or some sort of a puppy or like a past, maybe it was a dog that you had in the past that passed away. Um, or it could just be a spirit guide that you have around you, a small animal. So I feel like it could be maybe symbolic of the way that you see yourself. Um, a small a small being in a big world. Maybe you have struggles with like feeling fear of dealing with, you know, big life changes and that kind of thing. Um, whatever the case may be, there's some sort of a little energy of a little creature around you. And it could be a guide that helps you and brings joy in your life and just gives you that guidance and that surge. But um, part two of your reading, I already filmed it and I want you to really specifically pay attention to what I was saying in the beginning of the reading about your energy and being an empath. Um, but until then, my love, this is your first portion of your energy reading. I hope that you find you know, a lot of guidance and the things that you need and I look forward to connecting with you later on in the future. Bye, love.